Hello everybody. Welcome to my weird and wonderful world. And we are post eclipse day and I want to make you a video where I'm going to open my I want to open these up and give you a little little yeah, maybe hopefully you know, prepare you for the eclipse. I'm super excited. I can't wait to do it. So, let's get to it. I'm going to open these up for the first time. And now I know that these are legit, okay? Because I looked at the me the other day when my friend had had well he, my friend gave me those. My friend is going to be driving me up to Rishabukto to witness it. Well, we're all going to be witnessing it. He doesn't want to miss it either, and I don't blame him. So he went and got about four pairs of these at I think he said Home Hardware, and he paid like what he said like they weren't expensive at all like two 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 ninety nine each. So that's cool. So, but I know that you know that they are the official, okay? You know that they're going to be the official one if they have that number. If they have the ISO 12312-2, you know that it's going to be the that is the official and that's what you look for for the for the ISO number. And so, but I had to, I had tried his his out. I knew what to look for, and no, these are these are legit, one hundred percent. I have no doubt in my mind. But I am going to open it and show you what's in what it says inside. Oh, that was easier to open than I thought it was going to be. And oh, what it says? Look at that right there. It says April six, uh, NASA approved. I witnessed it and so a disclaimer the seller of these glasses shall not be liable for any damaging damages arising from the use non-use or misuse of the Eclipse glasses made in China but it is it does have an ISO and do not look directly at the Sun without a solar filter unfiltered sunlight will damage your eyes and could cause permanent blindness only look at the sun through approved solar filters. Even safer is to observe indirectly by projecting the sun's image with a pinhole, which which is I'm going to make one here in a moment. So you're going to stay tuned, and I'm going to show you how how to make a pinhole projector. But I'm sure you have probably already seen it. It's all over the internet, and everybody's talking about it. So. I'm not showing you, I'm probably not going to be showing you anything new, but in case it is, I'm going to be doing it anyway. I'm going to film it because it's just the right thing to do. But you see right here in the center, there it is, the EN ISO 12312-2-2015. So, yeah, that number ma the number matches, so I know that it is the official glasses. Now, when you look through them, okay, if I'm looking at a light, for example, all I should see is the filament. So when I look at the light, yeah, I look through my all I see is the filament. So, so as you can see, you you see now now it's showing me that oh I need to take the shutter off of my cam my camera. It can't see anything. It thinks there's a shutter there. The shutter is on. So you see, you can't see anything through that. That's completely dark. So now I got the light. Okay, I'm gonna take this light and I'm gonna shine it in your face. Say that's the that's the light because if you're looking at the sun. And now watch what you see. Watch what you see. That's all you're supposed to see. So yeah. So put that back. So yeah, that is. These are legit. These are legit. I know 100% that they are. So I will be using them tomorrow with the for the eclipse. Now. I wanted to make this video much earlier, but I had to go and get uh, I had to go get go get one item. I don't usually I don't usually eat uh, 
eat cereal, okay? But I went to, <laughs> I went and got a box of Captain Crunch. I went to Dollarama where it's much cheaper than going to the grocery store. You go to the grocery store, they, they're charging like $6. You go to Dollarama, three three fifty. So, so I, I, I took the bag out and I, and I put it in a different container, so it's all gonna, it's still good. I will be having it. I had to get some milk in that too. But what you need, okay, what you need is a box. You need some tin foil. Well, I need one, but I got an extra piece just in case I need it. You need uh, you need some paper. I'm going to be using this Bristol board. You need a, uh, you need a yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, pip, um, uh, thumbtack, and you need some. Where did I put those? Right there. You need some scissors. And so what you're, what you're, what you're doing? I'm gonna, I'm gonna demonstrate as I go along. And I'm sorry, Ron and Russell. I love you guys, but I'm going to bring this down just a bit so I can. I can demonstrate a little better without, yeah, right there. So, with the box, okay. Now there's a couple, there's a couple of ways you can do it, okay. You can have like a like a normal more of a squarish box, which is why I want I went looking for one at uh, Dollarama yesterday, but they didn't have it. But what you what you you there's a couple of ways. But it all, but it's, but it involves, but it always involves using the tin foil, and we'll, we'll, well, I'll, I'll explain when we get there, okay? So what you want to do, and I'm going to start off by, by cutting a little square on one side here and one side here. And like I said, there is another way of doing it where you cut a little square on one side in the corner. And you can cut a slot on the side here, right? All right, and and yeah, you can cut the slot on the side here and have the yeah get you in the frame. So cut the slot here, and then have the uh, and then and then have the other slot on the top here. That way, there when you have the piece of paper, you have the tin foil. You put the hole in the tin foil. And then you can see, and you can watch right on the paper here. The 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 it'll project the eclipse. And I'm going to leave a uh, a link down below, or probably down pinned to the comments down below of a uh, of smarter smarter today, a uh, smarter every day with Dustin. And he made a brilliant little uh, video with him, and it's a uh, and one of his friends, and yeah, it's a must watch, especially if you really want to fully enjoy the the eclipse. Yeah, it, it it's gonna. I I highly suggest it. So there's that way of making it, but I'm going to make it the the way I've been seeing on the videos. Yeah, I was going to make it a different way. And it would 100% work, but no, this way here, I'm going to make it is better. So I am going to cut a, as you see, I'm cutting a slot on one side here. And then, and I'll cut a slot on the other side here. I want to make sure why this one here is a little bit wider. Okay, yeah, there we go. Oh, sorry. You can't see what I'm doing. I'll, 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 I'll demonstrate as I go along. So, yeah. As you see, I'm cutting the same kind of slot on both sides. I'm cutting one a little bit, just a little bit wider than the other. To give myself a little bit more peeping. Peephole thing. Okay. So, so now I got my box right like that, okay. And and then I'll I will be taping, you know that shut. I'll I'll be clipping it in first like that. I'll be clipping it in and then I'll be taping that shut. And then, yeah, I'll be put and then I'll be putting tin foil over the other side. But before I do that, the next thing I gotta do 
is take the uh, take my I'm using Bristol board because I think it's going to work a little bit better, right? I got some uh, I got some of this tape here, some duct tape, like uh, dollar store knockoff duct tape. So what you want to do is you want to have it the same size as the bottom. See, I like to use the Bristol board because I think it's going to be more sturdy. Now, you're not going to see what I'm doing here, but what I'm doing is I'm taking the, the bottom of the box, I'm sticking it onto the corner of the, of the where the Bristol board is, and I'm making a line around the other side. And I'll show you in a second once I get it. Perfect. Okay, perfect. And I just gotta make the other line on this short end here. And make sure it's straight. Yeah, Captain Crunch, because it is my favorite cereals. That's why I had to get Captain Crunch. And so put that aside for now. And so you see I put a on the corner not to waste the rest of that paper because I, I can still use that so very carefully cut that out and the way I I, I traced it around I want to make sure that it's just going to be just the right size to fit in there so yeah I'm cutting it out that little piece, take that aside. Yeah. So now you can use glue. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. But I, for the sake of just being a little, for it to be a little easier, I'm using a, I'm using double-sided tape. I'm putting. Three little. I'm putting actually three pieces. Um, what side? Yeah, I want that. I want the rough side down and the smooth side up. There's a few other little things that I'm going. Uh, I'm also going to bring a full size piece of Bristol board uh, and make sure I have some anchors for it on the ground so that it, if there's wind, it's not going to blow away. I pin the four corners, but I want a nice white sheet of Bristol board on the ground so that just like the first the 10 minutes before totality and the 10 minutes after totality, you see what they call like uh, shadow snakes or, or shadow bends. Yeah, so I want to I want to be able to observe that phenomenon when the eclipse is about to happen. I want to try to pay attention to what the uh, what the birds and the insects start do, doing. I want to pay attention to all of that cool, interesting stuff. But again, I want to let Desmond explain in that uh, link. That I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to leave it down below in the uh, in the comments. So so now I get it on there. I'm taking the I'm taking the glue off. Uh, I'm taking the little little thing, exposing the glue. And I very, very carefully want to shove that all the way down to the bottom. Yeah, and I don't know how well you're going to see that, but see, on the bottom like that, boom. Now, I will fasten that up. On the top here, like that. Boom. Mm, I'm looking for the end of the of the tape. Oh no, I see it right there. Okay. So yeah, I'm hard. I can't believe the weather is actually going to be be awesome for that. It's gonna, yeah, it's gonna be fantastic. Eyeball that. Now let's see how close I eyeballed that. How, how, how close enough? 
Uh, yeah, I'll stick that over on top of that. I don't need any more than that, really. It's just enough to keep it together. Boom. Like that. Now comes a little bit of the tricky part. But, but again, it's not that hard. I, I really want to see you guys to see what I'm doing here. So I take the, I got it between my knees here. I take the tin foil, and on the smaller side, I want to put it right on top of that like that. Uh, do I have the right tape? Just a second. I'm going to use a couple of different tapes. See, oh, where did I put that tape? Let's see here, probably in your room, but no, it's, it's okay. I'm going to use, I'm still going to use some of this tape. I'm just going to cut off a little strip. Uh, yeah, I, I really want you to see what I'm doing fully here. So, cut off a, just a little strip so I can take little strips off of it. Got up in little strips. Like that up in a little strip. Like that up in a little strip. Boom. So I got four of those. That should that should help me. Alright. Get that between my knees and boom. Oh, okay. Make sure you get a little bit of work on there. Uh, okay. It wants to fold on me. That. Yeah, we just use, I really want to be careful. Okay, now that I got one side on, the other side should be a little easier. Put that here. Then stick another piece on this side over here, like that. Okay, so uh, I got a piece on top, pieces on the sides to get the sides. Then I'm folding that over like that and down here like this. And then sticking another piece on that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, actually, the you using a box of cereal is a is a fantastic idea. It's drawing terrific. So, so we're almost done. We got one last final step to do. You want to take a a pin tack, and I don't want too small of a hole. You want this hole to be just big enough. To, I, think, I think, yeah, I need just a big enough of a hole. Oh. I think that will work. Yeah, so there's my hole. I think it's going to be perfect. I wish it would be just a little bit more round. I just might take a a nail that's around the same size. I don't have one on me, but I will take a, a nail that's exactly the same size and poke it through. Uh, yeah, I, I have one. In, I have one in my uh, my little toolkit, but I'm not going to go get it right at the moment. I want to make sure that's perfectly round. Yeah. So, and again, if I don't like it, if I if I ruin that or uh, or I wreck that, I can just take that off and replace it. But right there, that's what you do. So, so when the day of the eclipse, you point that, that end towards the eclipse, and then you look in here, and yeah, yeah, you you pretty much uh, you'll have a a nice view of the eclipse. And on the day of the eclipse. 
like just before totality and a little bit after totality um I'll see if I can't film with my phone inside there so you guys can also kind of see what's going on it it should pick it up I'm pretty sure it will be so so yeah uh I'll keep you posted on that tomorrow for sure so I will I'm not sure exactly how I'm going to be doing it tomorrow, right? I don't like the quality of going live streaming because uh, I probably would, but I'm not. I think what I'm just going to do is just record everything as it's happening. And later that evening, I'm just going to post it because remember, I'm not, you can find, you can find tons of sites where people are, are filming the eclipse itself. You can watch those at any time. I want to document more of my reaction and and other little things here and there, so so that will that will be the thing. So we'll we'll talk more tomorrow. Definitely, I'm going to be making a yeah. I'll probably be making a whole bunch of videos tomorrow here and there, and then I'll yeah. Then it's the big hassle of posting everything. I'm just hoping that everything that I film on my phone comes out. There was just that one time. I mean, I, I since tried it since, and it has worked. But it was just that one time in the last couple, couple of about a week or so, where I I I I tried filming something with my phone outside, and it didn't work. So, well, like it, it like it got corrupted when it came in. So hoping all that goes good. But I am bringing my laptop and my and this camera and. And at one point, I might turn this this camera towards the towards the 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 eclipse here and there, but I'm not going to be focusing in on it because I know it's prolonged focusing on the on the eclipse that might damage it. And with my phone, like when it gets to totality, I do want to actually film with my phone. When it like like you know those moments at totality and that that's important like the like I, but I really don't want to miss it I really want to be there to absorb the whole do absorb the whole experience and be in the moment. All right, so that was that for the eclipse stuff that I wanted to talk about. I do have a, a little bit of a bonus that I want to show you here. Something for my my own pleasure, okay. It has no benefit for anybody else, but I I will take a little bit of rearranging of my wall here. Uh, I do want to rearrange some stuff here and there on on my back wall, but I had this idea because right now I'm at a, I am at a hundred and sixty subscribers, and in in a couple in a few uh when I get a few more subscribers I will be doing some more shout outs I, I yeah guaranteed I love doing my uh, subscriber shout outs but I want because I'm at 160 and I was thinking it would be a fun little project okay I I was cuz I went cuz I was also today to get the 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 box of cereal I was at I was at Dollarama and I decided to, and I, because uh, I was thinking about how to do it, how I was going to do this. So I bought some tags like this, right? I'll save these. I don't need, because I don't need the the ties. I'll save those. They might come ha in handy for for something later on. So I'm I'm going to hang on to those. But I just need the tags, and not even that side. It'll be on. It'll be that side. And then I also got these kind of. All at Dollarama, the, the these hook and loop dots, they're they're yeah, but they're Velcro dots basically. So they have both sides. They're sixteen. They're they're sixteen in a in a pack. So I bought two packs to make sure I have enough of them. This holds forty, and I needed forty to do what I need to do because all I need basically is thirty of them. Uh, so I have a few spares, but so what my idea was because of my subscriber count okay i want to keep i want to have an indication 
of what my scriber count is, right? So here's my idea. I'm going to, I, I did this as a base, right? I can, I can, it's just Bristol board, but here's my, here's my base. I can, I can put uh, double-sided tape on each side of that and I'll have it stuck on my wall somewhere, right? In those circles, I'll put the, uh, I'll put the rough side of the Velcro from the Vel Velcro dot in, in those circles, those three circles. I am going to open this right now so I can demonstrate my uh, what I'm going to do. You can probably deduce what I'm going what I'm what I'm going to talk about. So each one of these, so I got I got one out here, right? So I'm going to open up my uh, that aside. I'm going to open up my my hook and loop dots. You can get it. You can buy them in the, in the strip form too. But the dots is actually much better for that this idea. So I'll take out three for now, just to show. All right. So I take the. Uh, I take the soft side and I and I stick it on on that right there on that circle. Boom, like that. So that you see that the white of the uh and that doesn't matter, that's sticky, but that doesn't matter. But and then I'll do two more. So you 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 get the idea of where I'm going with that. Once I'm done, then do another one. Nice that there's forty. And if I ever need more, eventually, oh, I can I know where to go to get it. So yeah, so don't need that. Boom. Now, like I said, I take, uh, where did I put that? Right here. So I take this, okay, and I take the rough ones, and I put those in the, right here. Make sure I get the, all. Oh. Oh, there we go. Boom, that's the second one. And then last one in here. There. Okay. So like I said, when I stick that on the wall, I can I can so that I can change each one of these, right? That because they're hooked up with Velcro and and they're changeable. Boom, boom, boom. They'll be hanging like hanging like that. I'm gonna take these, I'm gonna take uh like 30 of them, right? And 10 10 eight, well three of them are gonna be having ones on them. So that I'm gonna be putting like a like you know, counting ten of them out from one to one to zero, all these numbers three times, so that I have all the numbers I need. So right now, because I have a hundred and sixty subscribers, it will show that I have a hundred and sixty subscribers, and the numbers are nice and big enough that you're gonna see them pretty clearly when once it's all in there up there properly. So that will that way there you don't even need to you can be on full screen. And you can, and, uh, and this is my gauge of how many subscribers I have in real time as I'm making the video. So, you, so, so anybody who goes back, okay. And the point of this really is that any that if anybody goes back into any of my previous videos from here on in, you will know exactly how many subscribers I have at that at that period when I made that video. 
say say a year from now I have uh, 250 subscribers for example I'm at 160 now but say by next year by 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 January 1st I have uh, 250 subscribers some miracle okay you will see the progress at, of each video as I go along so anytime you go back yeah I'm over explaining I'm sorry <laughs> But anyway, that's what I'll I'll be doing those up for you, and you know off camera. But that is my idea. So so I'll I'll put like I said I'll put some double sided tape on there. I'll I'll stick it onto the wall somewhere, but not there, somewhere appropriate. And yeah, it'll give me my count, and I can change the numbers as as it changes. And keep you updated. So yeah, that's it. Look again. I'll be back tomorrow making. Oh uh, yeah, it'll probably be a lot of videos. I don't know. I'm going to make sure everything's charged. I'm going to be bringing. I have I have a few of a few of these these little memory the power banks. That that I uh, and I see I have Velcro on there. I love Velcro. Velcro really works well. I have Velcro because I have my little, I have a little speaker thing that I, and, and I, if I ever need extra power, I can stick it on there. So it gives me a little extra life. I don't have it on this one, not the white one, but just the black ones have, have a strip of Velcro on it. All right. So I'm going to let you go right here. And as always, you know, please be safe. Take care. I will see you on the flip side. And please, everyone, have a great day, evening, night, wherever you may be. Peace, everybody.